Okay, as you know by now, I got electronic hearing protection. I got the Walker's Razor Patriot series. If you see my two videos trying those things out, they're phenomenal. I want some tactic cool ear protection covers. Because there is a little bit of a gap in my fat head between the top of my skull and the headband. So I'm thinking if I have a cover on it, that'll give me moisture wicking capabilities and also be able to wick up some of the sweat. And from what I've seen, different videos, it keeps the headband from sliding around on your head. So let's look and see what's out there and what's available. Okay, so my first research for Woodland Ear Protection Cover, <coughs> excuse me, yielded me octactical.com. This is in Woodland. Looks like it has some sort of sweat absorbing, <sighs> grabbing so it doesn't slide on your head cover padding there. It's in Velcro. It's got the spot for the Velcro name tape. But if you look at the camouflage show, it looks like there's shrieks in the material. So is it true Cordura nylon? Probably not. Some sort of imitation copy. Maybe the stuff like the cold weather uh, USG, uh, not cold weather, yeah, wet weather, cold weather. They had that nylon polyester type, uh, I forget what it was called, had that fading look to it. So I'm not sure if I want this one. I think these ones were 25 bucks, but let's move on and see what else is out there. And of course, there's tons of videos on the special operation equipment, belt door head wraps. And he has it in the woodland, but I can't find a picture of the woodland. I think this might be woodland here. He yeah, officer in black, black with red strings, black with pink. I don't know who the hell would want that. Is that flat dark earth, olive drop green, tan, woodland, and multicam? Twenty five bucks. Those look nice and comfy, don't they? And SOE, you know it's going to be quality stuff. Okay, on Amazon I found these U.S. Tactical Sewing USTS Advanced Modular Headset. I don't like the Pell's webbing on top. The headset cover but I do kind of like that little D-ring they have hanging off there so if you have like say a, uh, a Grimlock Keeper you could just throw it on your Grimlock Keeper on your belt on your vest or something like that and dangle them when you're not using them that way you don't set them down and leave them behind or somebody doesn't pick them up and walk off but there's got to be more choices let's keep looking found these ones by Tactical Shit here <laughs> Pro Strap 25 bucks yeah same thing as uh SOE, they come in 10 different colors. You can see the colors there. The woodland looks off, if that's the woodland there, underneath the black and the two khaki ones. But let's keep looking. I don't know if I like the looks of these ones. Okay, these ones look kind of cool. I'm not sure about the color. They look kind of thin, but they do have the 5-inch uh, Velcro strip for the name tape. And then they do, if you see that, have a lower Velcro for some additional patches. I don't know what else additional you might want to put onto there, but a little bit more, 30 bucks. But are they really any better than the other ones? I don't know. Let me keep looking. Okay, I'm gonna stop here, I'm sick of looking. These ones, last ones here, are Urban Operator Tactical Hearing Pro Cover. They only show you the side pictures. They don't show you any of the cover underneath, what goes on your head, what material it is. It says mesh padding. 6-inch Velcro loop for name tape identifier, 9x6 open, 9x2 and a quarter close, same size as everybody else. This one that's shown is Encrypted Highlander. 27 bucks. that's comparable, but I want to see more details. And this one, instead of having a little D-ring, has a little uh, bungee-type cable with a uh, little uh, uh, clasp. Eh, I don't know if I like that. That looks kind of cheap. Okay, I've gone back. I bit the bullet. I ordered a set. I ordered the Woodland Camo from Special Operations Equipment. I've dealt with SOE before. They're quick. They're American-made. I'm supporting a local business. I'm supporting a vet. And I know it's something that's going to be high quality. Got another package from Special Operations Equipment. What did I get? Well, I think you already know by the title of the video. That's cool. This time I got a SOE decal. Made in the motherfucking USA. <laughs> I have to put that on my gun safe. I didn't get one with the last purchase, but that's cool. At least I got one this time, so anyways. 
Got the uh, use little cards. And here we go. We got the Woodland Camel Peltor Wrap. Got a Woodland because I live in Vermont, the Northeast. It's not a desert climate. I don't think Multicam fits. I like Woodland. All my gear is in Woodland, so. I thought this was going to be a little bit thicker. It's really not very thick. Maybe eighth, three sixteenths inch thick. Hmm. Anyways, let's get it on the uh, Patriot Series headset and uh, see what she looks like. As John explains, you're going to put this around your leg, around your thigh. You're going to take the ear pro. You're going to fold it over and fold over those things. I can't do it all one-handed, so I'm going to pause the camera. I'll be right back. Okay, if you want the fold going to the back so it's not catching on uh, brush things if you use it for hunting application, put the SEO, SOE logo towards you. Okay, got them on. That is a snug fit. I'm going to have to run my finger up there, work those things back and forth. I don't know if the Walker's razors are a little bit larger than other brands, like the Peltors and light Howard lights but that closure does not go all the way to the back so that's no biggie deal but I do have a couple wrinkles in us so I gotta get my finger under there work it out uh, but there you are got some extra padding got a spot for my name tape now I can be tacty cool SOE why did I choose them? Because I bought other stuff from SOE. It's always top of the line, top quality. Never had any problems with the stuff. Other ones probably would have sufficed, but anyways. I go with Made in America and who I've done business before, and they treat me well. What I might do is have some black Velcro I cut out. I might shoe go it right to here to put my one inch by whatever they are Patriot patches back onto the headphones. I have one of the American flags charging this side and over here I put my blood type. You can do whatever you want on them but anyways then I'll put my name tape up there with my last name. One thing I did to try to get this worked over and pulled over as far as I could was the edge of a credit card, an old credit card. I worked it down in there try to squeeze and pull and that got it that on is tight and the best I'm going to get it I can't get it any tighter man so I don't know if the Walker Razors Patriot Series has a wider headband but anyways if not I'll uh, contact SOE see if they can make me a little wider set like two and a quarter I'll put this one on a uh, another set of headphones I could have used green Velcro, I just went with black. I added a Velcro, which will hold the flag, or my blood type, on that side. One on there, and I just shoo them in place. could have fought to take this thing off, I could have fought to get out the thread injector and sew them on, but you know what, it's not worth the aggravation. Shoo-goo is going to hold them secure, it's going to be weather resistant, it's going to stay flexible. It's going to do everything I need it to do, even in extreme cold temperatures. I just got to wait for the dry, and then apply the patches. So that's my modification to the Peltor Ear Pro wraps. Got my name tape on the top. Nobody needs to see my name, but it's there. Like everywhere I go, my whistle ready to blow Shawty don't even know she can get in it but alone Told me she's not a pro, it's okay, it's under control Thanks for viewing, please like, share, subscribe And don't forget to hit that bell notification for future videos Thank you